Hello, this is Chuck, and we are playing the Payne's Creek Killings. I'm going to be back on my regular schedule of two games being played because my uh, Phasmophobia audio insert project is going to take way too long, and at this point I can't delay any longer. So, let's start with a new game. I know there's like, it's like an invest more investigation games. Wait. This game seeks to emulate to a certain degree the experience of investigating a murder. You will need to search each location carefully, find clues to proceed, and use your observation and deduction skills to uncover the hidden secrets. We, reco we recommend writing your own notes or taking advantage of the in-game camera. The game auto says when you whenever you enter a location, should you encounter a bug or problem while playing, such as being stuck behind furniture, getting pushed out of the game world. Simply use the reload button in the menu to transport you back to the entrance of the location. Your game will continue from there. You'll need to train everything. Good luck. Okay. Um. Okay, excuse me as I get my um, biggie board ready to write anything down that I need to. Um, all right, so I know there are multiple investigations from my understanding in this game. But let's get our info here. The Hatford Times, 212 Greenwood Street, Northville, NL. Three, who killed Vivian Roberts? August 3rd, 1999. In 1995, Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman and wife of a former mayor, was murdered and dragged to the front of her own house. The case was never solved and the killer never found. It was rumored that a private investigator was in Peens Creek sometime later, but there is nothing more on that. Last week, we received news that large swaths of Peens Creek County will be auctioned off soon. We would like to revisit the story and attempt to find out the following. 1. Who killed Vivian Roberts? 2. What was the motive? 3. What was the murder weapon? Please submit your findings and a front page photography photograph for your story to be published. So they really want to forget to bring a camera. Get the photograph. Mouse to look around. AS, WASD. It's my, uh, ah, that's how you go camera. C is for camera. Okay. Right mouse button, zoom in. Left mouse button to take floor, take, take floor, take photo. Let's just, uh, Just because. Don't know if that that's probably wasn't important anyway, but it might be important. Okay, this is our little one one three one. Okay. Go inside to the. Sh I think I said the sheriff office, but so th is this a closed gated community then? Oh my god, this is small. <laughs> so small. Oh, door. Okay, we have a map. Do we get to keep this map? Yes, we do. <laughs> that answers my question. We get a flashlight as well. 
F, store the item in inventory. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, Moon Caf Moon Cafe, come check out a selection of exquisite recipes to taste. Our lattes are known as the best in the country. Lunch and dinner only ten dollars. In participation with Anne's Courtyard Inn and Suites, if you show our barista your receipt or room tag, you receive a free cup of our signature moon latte. So it might just seem that everyone just left. Missing. Paints Creek. PD. He's biracial? I can't tell. Unless he just takes more from one of the parents. Last scene, four pebble lane across the river on the playground. He was wearing his favorite blue jacket. He has a scarf below his left eye. He has a scarf. He has a scarf below his left eye. He has a scar below his left eye. Hmm. Do I want to take a photo of this? If there are multiple investigations, I will. Okay. Vivian Roberts, successful businesswoman and wife of ex-mayor, found dead in front of her home. Third death to strike Paines Creek in less than a year. Third death? This, okay. Vivian Roberts, the wife of ex-mayor Charles Robert, was found dead in front of her home at 1 Maple Drive, Paines Creek. At 7.15 a.m., Mary Martinez, a maid currently working at the mansion, was retrieving the morning paper when she saw Vivian's body. She immediately dot called 911. How come they have, like, even the time and everything? The Paints Creek Sheriff, James Howard, arrived shortly, and the victim was pronounced dead. The time of death was estimated to be between 11 p.m. last night and 1 a.m. this morning. The body is currently at the coroner's office waiting for an autopsy. The people of Paines Creek have started grieving for her. Candles and flowers were being placed at the gate in front of her home where she was found. Vivian was indeed a person whom many respected and adored. Her success in business, her loyalty to her family, and her love for the people of Paines Creek are unsurpassed. She will be missed. Okay. Okay. Journal entry. Ah, perfect. I was wondering, I'm like, do I have to take a picture of this? Because there's some, uh, well, there's some, this, this, this has got more detail than I thought it would for a regular. My God, those fluorescents are so loud. Oh my God, why is... Anne's Courtyard. Okay. Scott Brooks, Pain Creek's Trinity Church pastor's son, suspected for killing Vivian Roberts. When the reported seeing suspect fleeing from murder scene late night. The police apprehended Scott Brooks yesterday afternoon. He was residing at the Roberts hunting cabin by the trailhead. According to a witness who at this time has wished to remain, remain anonymous, he was coming home late on July 19th at around 11.50 p.m. when he saw Scott walking very quickly away from the Roberts Mansion, heading down Silver Lake. Although Scott looked upset, the witness did not think it unusual until a few days later when he came across the newspaper article on Vivian Roberts' murder. Feeling uneasy about the whole situation, he called the police. Shortly after the call was made, the police arrived at Scott's cabin and questioned about his whereabouts the night Vivian died. Scott said he did meet her that night, but said he had nothing to do with her death. Scott was later brought down to the station for further questioning. Okay. 
Oh, wait. <gasps> Spell's locked. How do I crouch? Control? There we go. Anything in here? <gasps> there is. R to read. Oh, this is a journal. I thought it was a wallet. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Um, July 30th, 1995. Vivian Roberts' funeral was held this afternoon. Bernard, the butler, Dorothy, the head servant, Derek, the family chauffeur, and his mom, Wanda, who's fighting cancer, attended. Vivian's husband, Charles, came with their daughter, Tricia. Charles did not utter a word. He was very quiet. Most of the town came and paid their respects at the funeral. Halfway through the ceremony, Trisha started to weep loudly. Dorothy brought her elsewhere. And the crying, is there, no, I mean, the, no, sorry, the page just looks a bit weird. And the crying died down. I noticed that Dorothy looked tired. It must have been tough to take care of Trisha. She's been having multiple breakdowns. I can't blame her. With the loss of her mother and with her boyfriend being accused as the killer, it must have taken a toll on her. I feel sorry for the whole family. Is is this just like the lighting? Like this should just be moved in a bit more? September 6, 1995. The town of Peens Creek is quickly becoming a ghost town. The population has decreased drastically over the years. Ever since the deaths occurred, it seems that more and more people are actively looking to leave this town. It's sad to see a once lively town become what it is now. December 2nd. It's been almost six months since Vivian was killed. Her death still bothers me. Why was she killed? What was the killer's motive? Was she, she was someone who had earned the love and respect of the community. No employee of hers, nor any citizen of Payne's Creek, reaped any benefits from her passing. It doesn't make any sense. February 20th. Payne's Creek Community Hospital has officially closed. The remaining patients have been allocated to other hospitals that will provide suitable services for them. To be honest, it's hard to watch them leave. I wonder if the day will come when I will be resigned somewhere else. Okay, so this is the sheriff's. There you go. Got. Is that it? Okay. Well, that's not it. We have this, but we need to find the key. No? Lost and found. Oh, fuck. Also locked. Sorry. Uncrouch. There we go. Okay. Oh. Uh, work relocation. Dear Sheriff James Howard, due to the decreasing population of Paints Creek County over the recent years, we have decided to delegate manpower elsewhere. This letter is to inform you that you have been reassigned to Grand County, Grand County starting May 14, 1998. Okay. They just leave all... I mean, it's not even fully packed yet. What? Why is it telling me to crouch? Oh, oh, that's why it's telling me to crouch. Keys for desk. No. Store inventory. Okay. Hold on. The story of Taunty? Okay, I think there's nothing more there. Okay, well, um, okay, how do I, uh, I know my journal, I for inventory, there we go. Okay, so that is my character. I am Janet Kelly. Okay, how do I use it though? Yes, I know, but how do I use it? It's not giving me the option to use, which is very annoying. Battery seems new. Digital camera. Okay.
I, there we go. Oh, so I have to like, oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so I have to like focus on the lock or whatever and then go, it's not like I drag and drop. Oh, we have another key. Looks like old gate key. Store that. Okay, Vivian Roberts murder case report. August 6th, 1995. This report is an update of what happened to Vivian Roberts. Scott Brooks, the only suspect of this murder case, was apprehended a few days after Vivian's body was found. According to our investigation, some saw Scott around 11.30 p.m. near the woods north of the mansion. Two hunters were looking for more wood for their bonfire when they heard shouting. They witnessed Scott and Vivian arguing. However, they were too far to hear the content of the argument. Six months prior to Vivian's death, Scott was fired from working at the mansion. She cited Scott for tardy work and rebellious behavior. She also prohibited Scott from visiting the mansion and meeting Trisha, who by then had a close, re had a close relationship with Scott. We are currently investigating the case. Scott is our main suspect in Vivian's murder. Okay. Okay, so very possibly, Keep saying see the crouch and stop. Man, I can't see. See, it's not <laughs> it's not dark enough for me to use, but at the same time, I can't see anything. Is there even anything on here? Just one jail cell. Okay, I think that's it. Ow. Okay. Oh, let's just shift to sprint. Tutorial complete. Oh boy, where do I even start? I obviously start with the house, I would assume. Where's my map? Okay. Mayor's Mansion is up there. I'm to Hillsdale Sheriff's Outpost. So I guess... Oh yeah, what did that message say? Sorry, I can't remember. What did that message say about a package? I just want to look at that again. Turn on. Oh, there are lights. That would be very helpful. Nothing's here, but that would be very helpful. Is there lights here? Oh, there are. Some light just switches don't work. Find a way to see better in dark. Oh, this is the tutorial. I see. Okay, but then how do I, here, if I close the door, do I like, and then press use? How do I turn on the flashlight? F is for, I'm so confused right now. Okay, so this is supposed to be the tutorial for the flashlight, except for the fact... 
but I don't remember how to use the flashlight. L. L's the flashlight. Okay. It's just a toilet. Because the problem is usually it would be F, but... L's so far away, too. I'm going to have to maybe change the key bindings for this, because I'm not done with that. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I came in there to, oh my god, I came in there to listen to the message, but completely forgot. So I'm wondering if I'm going to have to make my own little timeline board. Because it's going to be like dates and stuff. I don't know how complicated or uncomplicated this could be, but. Okay, sorry, I want to hear this again. Okay. I don't know why his footsteps are so much heavier when he's walking on the carpet. Can we close this gate? There we go. Oh my god, so awful. Sorry, I'm just having a random look around. Even though I probably don't need to. We can like go into other people's places. It's locked. Okay. See, that would make sense. Though I can't imagine people would, if it's like, if there really is an abandoned town, Someone would have visited, or tried to visit. Anne's Courtyard. Hello. <laughs> so we're actually going to be, is there an actual person? Place is kind of dark. Untouched bottles of wine. They just left it here? So that's the weird part. Bing bing. Another flashlight. I already have one. Yes, I do. So where the hell is uh Old fashioned way to listen to music. Steven says he's at Anne's courtyard. It's like, were they currently pack packing this up? Dart score. Scoring. Why is this thing? Why am I, why is this thing? Is this the package? Paints Creek Village. Enjoy your stay in Paints Creek and take a chance to explore the surroundings. Traverse up the slopes of Black Pine Mountains and take in a jaw-dropping view or take a hike on our trails towards Cherry Creek Lake. Spend the night at Anne's Courtyard Inn and Suites and enjoy the five-star room service it provides. There are many amazing things you can experience here. The lack with the lack of city population, Paints Creek has been able to keep to be well kept well maintained. There are vast trails to walk upon and sceneries to view, and no area too far away to explore. Share station Roberts. <laughs> they're, they're, it's literally on their on the tour guide package. The Roberts Estate. 
Must visit areas. Moon Cafe. Moon Cafe claimed coffee has been known as one of the reasons people come to Paints Creek. If you haven't had something from there yet, we highly recommend you visit and 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 taste for yourself. Hunter's Trail. One of Paint Creek's prides are hunting grounds. You, however, will need to obtain a hunting license from the local sheriff. No. Okay. Let's just keep it open so I know I've opened it. No. Here is the key that you requested. Seven Black Pine Road, Paines Creek. Okay. Lock toolbox. Everything that's being blocked. Payne Street Community Hospital closes its doors after 60 years of service. Payne Street Community Hospital, one of the leaders in long-term rehabilitation for the elderly in Newland, finally closes its doors after 60 years of service. Uh, first opened in 1936, serving as a humble abode for treating patients and providing provided boarding for those in those in need of prolonged treatment. Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman, saw the need to revamp the hospital in the early 70s. She found the Roberts Relief, she founded the Roberts Relief Foundation with the main purpose to support the needs of the village of Paynes Creek, starting with the hospital. By early 80s, the population of the village and local areas had started to decline rapidly. Many young people who went to college did not return. The number of seniors was quickly rising with the increased need. Okay. Stephen Moss, 201. No date out, though. Okay, so 201. Okay, what did this read again? Seven Black Pine Road. Is this going to tell me what was, see, this is one maple. James Howard. Okay. And if I go into my inventory, Address for the key is written on the paper next to it. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to have to write this myself. So I'm going to just go use my little boogie board here. Or I can take a picture. I guess I can take a picture. Just in case I forget. If there are multiple investigations, then I'm going to, ha I'm really, it's locked. I'm going to want to do that. Okay, water cooler, ooh. 204. Take every key. Champagne. It's weird because like, yeah, everyone, you know, the place declined, right? But why is everything still here? That weirds me out a lot. With this... Okay, so these are room keys. I'm just like wondering what key will go here. Oh, I keep doing that. Darts. Okay, but we don't have room, we don't have the key for room 201.
Here are some of our usual customers you might want to memorize this. Church. I don't see the seven. Okay, so this is for the the wine. Yeah, this is for the wine. Man, even I can't as close as I close in I can get. I can't quite get it. <laughs> it's a uh, it's still not enough. Oh, here we go. I can take a picture like this. Good to know. Okay. I've been doing it. Well, it depends. Sometimes if I want the surroundings, it'll be a lot easier. Oh, it opened into towards me. I don't ever have to look at the cloths, do I? Okay. Just checking. Okay. Didn't think so. Two, four. Two, four, two, one. Late rent to fee due. Dear Stephen Moss, thank you for your rent payment. As stated in your rental agreement, however, when rent payments are not received by uh, April 4th, you must pay additional rent because of a late charge due or because you did not qualify for the rent discount. The required additional amount was not included in your payment and is therefore now due. Please send the additional requirement, additional rent amount of $85 at once to, to bring your credit balance up to date and remove it from the delinquent list. This amount must be paid within seven days. Okay. Just um, just anything with dates, I'm just gonna be taking pictures because I really don't know. Okay, anything in the bucket? Okay, so. Nothing there. Is there two lights? What? And this is for, what is that for? Just checking. Don't imagine we can turn on the water. I don't know if it's a thing, if I need to check behind doors, but we'll say it is. Okay, I'm gonna close this door because I don't think there's anything left in here. Oh, lights. No, didn't think so. Okay. Let's just close this. Bible. Okay. Just think there's anything. Else of importance, can't check underneath the floorboards or anything like that. Okay, a hat. This hat must have been left by the last guest. Okay, anything underneath? All right. Okay, we're done with that. So this one is for 204, if I remember correctly. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, oh wait, that's just a toilet. It's a toilet roll.
Okay. Another Bible. Oh, just trying to take a look at it. Okay, this room is definitely more sparse in comparison. Okay, last room. Nothing here. <laughs> I'm really hoping I don't one day have to like check the ceiling or something like that. Okay, let's turn off the lights. Those lights are very annoying. Lights make a very annoying sound. Another. God, is this like one of these things I have to like make sure to look just in case there's something actually written underneath? There's nothing there. I don't know why I'm sitting crouch right now. Okay. And that's it. Okay, don't see anything else. The only room key that is missing is for Stephen Moss, who we don't even know left. Is this thing anything? Nope, just... So that's it for here. We do have a key. Oh, I didn't read this bulletin board. Okay, there's that kid again. Four pebble laying across the river in the playground. He's wearing his favorite blue jacket. Fall Festival, Robert's Relief Foundation. <laughs> what can you do if you are locked out of your own car? The Slim Gin, also known as a lockout tool, is used primarily for breaking into cars. The thin strip, the hook end of the tool, is thin enough to be slipped between the car door window and the rubber seal, catching the, rub the rods that connect to the lock mechanism. Okay, so at some point, at some point, Haynes Creek Trinity Church. The truth shall, shall set you free. Words for fallen, a word for Father Matthew. Okay, more church. Pamphlets. Okay. And the lockout thing is like, why is this on the bulletin board? I'm sorry, do you guys have trouble with <laughs> with uh people breaking into cars? Oh, there's stuff on there. So this is I'm assuming... Oh no, this is a bookshop. Yeah, I should imagine it should be locked. Okay, so there's going to be this eeriness since this town, Farmer's Market. That is a really small Farmer's Market. <laughs> that is tiny. Okay, so if I want to get to... I need Silver Lake Boulevard before I can get to... Town Center, Clover Street. Okay, so actually if I go that way...
Walnut. What? Okay, Silver Lake Boulevard. <laughs> Just making sure. And what's the... Sorry, where can I view the pictures again? My god, this is... Journal? No. Inventory? No. L? That's for light. I still have my light on. My bad. Read. Let's map. I literally do not. Okay, hold on. I <laughs> just the controls. Move, varied, forward, back. Photos is P. God. Seven Black Pine Road. I don't know what that's for, but. Maple Drive. Oh, this is it right here. Okay, and there's another way rather than the main road. So what's the gate key for? Oh, I just realized I actually need to end my set. Huh, okay, but we finally, we made it to the, the residence of the... Okay, there are no fluorescent lights here, so there's no reason that should be going off. God, this is actually a really big estate. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna end the set here. So thank you for liking if you like, thank you for commenting if you commented, thank you for subscribing if you subscribed, thank you for favoriting if you favorited, thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time guys, see ya!